Welcome back to John's Films. Had a question in my chat from Zebel Ganubi. He's asking, what can I do to make sure Resolve runs faster inside my laptop? Well, you've got a few options. Okay, Zebel, here's a project I'm working on. It's 4K footage. And I'll go to my playback options, and first I'll look at my proxy mode. Here I have the option to render out only a quarter of the pixels based on what I'm showing in my monitor. That can be helpful. The next thing you should look at is your caches. Are you using your render cache? Are you using your fusion cache? Both of these should be turned on so that fusion and the effects only have to be rendered once and then saved until they're changed again. That'll greatly reduce the strain that's on your processor. Speaking of that proxy mode, we should probably check File, Project Settings. Let's look here to see what video format is being used inside your monitor. Here I'm using 2997 4K in my timeline, but what it's going to show back to my monitor, let's make it 2997 HD. So that automatically down reses what's going to show me and has to do less calculation against it. Next, You've got an option of what you're going to choose for optimized media. Here I've set it to DNX HR. If you've got ProRes or other options, you might consider those. What is that optimized media? That's the ability for us to change what is an input of H.264 and CPU intensive to decode, and I'll right click on it and I will change it by going to generate optimized media. Now what it's going to do is spend a minute or two, depending on your processor, and transcode this footage, much like it would in Premiere Pro if you chose to create proxy files. So I transcode this footage to a, to a format that's easier for the processor to read, that being the DNxHR that I chose previously. So now it's generated that when I have it out, it will much faster and very smoothly be able to play the footage. Any effects or changes that you make to it will be rendered on top of the optimized media but when you render your final output and export it for the project, it will give you the option to either use that optimized media in its current form or go back to the source file and render the final project output from it. By default, use optimized media is unchecked. Here in Fusion, you have a pretty quick way to do this. One would be to right click by your frame marker and choose auto proxy, which will automatically scale and size that as needed, and the other is to force caching by right clicking and cache a node to disk. This will allow it to render and playback much faster. All right, so that's three, four quick ways that we can make things easier for our computers to play back and resolve. First one would, it, would again make sure that you're playback and you're using your proxy modes appropriately. The second one would be to look at your render cache and your fusion memory cache. The third one is again to look inside the file project settings menu, understand what you're truly trying to display as it's playing through. And the fourth one would be the optimized media that we discovered here by right clicking and generating optimized media. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick moment and have a great day.